things right at the same time give access to world class education to the youth of india there is very less space for people to innovate and upskill when it comes to quantity that's a bullshit theory tum agar post karte jaoge to kuch nahi hoga that there are brands that have spent 30 to 40 lakhs with think school and they've generated a return of 1.1 to 1.2 crore rupees research writing scripting shooting editing all of it used to take less than 3 days uh, that is because i was working for 16 hours a day it is a pleasure to meet you over here i was told that you guys are very excited to know about the think school story so before that how many of you are think school subscribers acha all of you so tumko story kyu janna hai guys tumko to pata hi hoga लेट सब्सक्राइब किया ठीक है सो द स्टोरी ऑफ थिंग स्कूल इज फेरली सिंपल एंड इंस्टेड ऑफ टेलिंग यू गिविंग यूर जो स्टॉक आई वुड रादर हेल्प यू ड्रॉ सम लेसन विच विल हेल्प यू आउट इन योर कॉन्टेंट जर्नी और इन योर बिजनेस जर्नी बिकॉज दिस क्रिएटर इकोनॉमी दैट वी आर सींग इट्स जस्ट वेरी वेरी मैसिव एंड वी जस्ट गेटिंग स्टार्टेड इन द नेक्स्ट फाइव टू टेन ईयर्स दिस इज गोइंग टू स्केल अप बाई फाइव टू टेन एक्स विच मीन्स सम ऑफ यू हियर कुड गो ऑन टू बिकम द बिगेस्ट क्रिएटर्स इन द कंट्री some of you over here might go on to use creator economy and could be known as the genius of the creator marketing space which is why it is important to understand this space both as a creator and as a marketer so we started think school with the sole intent of putting a dent in the indian education system and we want to do that by teaching schools and colleges by teaching students what schools and colleges don't as a result we we thought that we'll teach students design thinking how many of you heard about the term design thinking a lot of you right But then when we started Think School, nobody understood what is design thinking. So the first question was, "Ki design thinking hota kya hai, aur kya humko job milega?" Both of which were pretty subjective questions because design thinking does not have a standard definition. It changes with the context, right? Then we realized this is not going to work out. So we said, "We will teach you communication." And suddenly we had the entire classroom full, and that's how we started making money. We paid seven thousand rupees a month in rent, got hold of a small space, not so legally. <laughs> without making any agreements but that's how things school started but then what i realized is that with engineering the schedule is very hectic how many of your engineers over here tumko to pata hi hoga bhai ki ek exam khatam hota hai to dusra exam aa jata hai so there is very less space for people to innovate and upskill as a result we realized that the flow of students was fluctuating so much and the drop off rate was so high because of these exams that our courses were not being effective enough and that is when we thought this is not going to work out so we'll have to go with self paced courses by which people people could do those courses as and when they are free and they can skip the course if there's an exam and yet have the ability to come back to the course so that they can extract value out of it and that is the reason why we said let's go digital and let's put communication masterclass online now with the edtech industry the biggest killer of any company is is customer acquisition cost so if you're selling a course worth 2000 rupees and your cac is 1000 rupees you will not be profitable in fact when it comes to other boli sata kyunki record ho raha hai some companies jinka cac itna zyada hai that they have to fake a lot of things including valuations if you know what i mean <laughs> so we want to make sure that we do things right at the same time give access to world class education to the youth of india and in order to lower customer acquisition cost we understood that the fundamental element that will drive your cac to zero is trust if people trust you if there is word of mouth then customer acquisition cost will go down to zero and that is how we started with our instagram page where we started putting out content and the goal was that jab hum performance karenge So there will be a lot of traffic to our page, and when people watch our videos, there is a very high likelihood that they'll actually follow because there is value coming in, right? But then we realize that Instagram is a platform that doesn't promote creators so much, and after a certain point, your growth is going to plateau. So we said, let's look at compounding growth platform, which is YouTube, and that is how Think School's YouTube channel came into existence. Fortunately, because of your kind love and support, I must say. I I have to give all credits to all the subscribers who trusted us when we were at 5000 10000 subscribers with a very very primitive production. We started to put out business case study videos in order to cultivate trust so that people can see people can learn business as well as look at storytelling and then be inspired to take up the course and that is how Think School's YouTube channel came into existence. 10 videos down the line we hit uh, 100000 subscribers and from there onwards we've been hitting 100000 subscribers ever since. 
In 11 months, we hit a million subscribers. We thought the growth is going to plateau. In another six months, we hit another million subscribers. We thought the growth is going to plateau. But in another six months, we hit another million subscribers. So that is how Think School became a community of three million subscribers. Thank you. And then something very fascinating happened. Two things, actually. One is something that's quite evident out there. That is brands started to use our distribution for their growth. And what we realized is that the kind of trust that these creators actually command is so huge that there are brands that have spent 30 to 40 lakhs with Think School and they've generated a return of 1.1 to 1.2 crore rupees. So what we realized is that creators could actually trade trust with a brand and lower their customer acquisition cost eventually to help them make a profit. That's the first thing that came out. The second thing that came out is that Communication Masterclass achieved word of mouth publicity. And you, if, you, if you play our video right now, you will see that there is a one second nudge which says Communication Masterclass, link in the description. That has been our advertisement since the past one and a half years. And it's only since last month that we actually started performance, you might have already got the ads. The Communication Masterclass course has been so remarkable that uh, we've been able to achieve X, Y, Z amount in revenue, because I can't say this out because it's recording, with zero CAC. And more importantly, what we found even more fascinating is that Communication Masters is a difficult course. It's not an easy course. Ki aap kar doge, kyunki hum, humko hai ki courses mein na ego massage nahi karna chahiye. Ki aapne kisi ko course de diya, completion rate dikha diya. Kyunki fake nahi karna hai na learning ko. Course has to be difficult. And that is when you realize something even more fascinating. Think Communication Masters has a one year subscription, but people subscribe to it again and again. I don't know why. Turns out it is a timeless piece of content that helps you get to negative CAC after a certain point. So out of all of these things, we realized that there are three important lessons, both for brands as well as creators to understand. Customer acquisition cost in this noisy world is going to be the number one killer of your business, not just for edtech, but for every other company. Recently, I met Shlok Srivastava from uh, tech, who's, who runs the channel called Tech Burner. And he recently launched this brand called Layers. And I asked him, how are you going to compete in this competitive market? Because now he's going to come out with cases. And when I spoke to Neil, who is his business partner, he told me that, you know, with Shlok, the only factor that will help us become more profitable as compared to other brands is the customer acquisition cost. Other brands spent 40% of their revenue into CAC, which Shlok, it is zero. Zero. So your competitor is generating a 0% profit margin by giving discounts. And you, with the same price, are able to make a 40% profit. So with creator economy, once you build trust, if you are a creator, whatever product you have, your customer acquisition cost will go down. As a result, it will become a barrier to entry for your competitors. Number two, if you're a brand and if you choose the right creators, then you will be able to lower your customer acquisition cost in the next two to three years only. Why? Because after two to three years, people like me will tell people like you that your CAC will go low. As a result, all these brands will start massively flooding these creators. And just like IPL today, for a 10 second ad, how, many, how much money do you have to pay? 20, 25 lakhs, I guess? Yeah. Is that cost really justified for a startup? Can a startup really spend that much amount of money? But why is the cost so high? Is it because the ROI is so high? Not necessarily. The cost is so high because there are such giant players like Volkswagen, Mercedes and BMW that a player like Think School will not be able to extract as much return on investment as a BMW can. As a result, the, the cost of advertisement goes up. So the number of players in the ecosystem, in the marketing channel is directly proportional to the cost of the marketing channel. So for the next two to three years, you have the opportunity both as brands and as creators to lower your customer acquisition cost and build a formidable brand. And if you don't do that, then eventually you will again face the same thing that every other brand is facing that everybody has access to the same marketing channel and they're all incurring the same cost. And third and most importantly, what we realized is that we saw Zeroda as our inspiration and that gave us a lot of benefit. So if you look at Zeroda versus their competitors, what Zeroda did was that they just looked at their business as a business which will have the lowest customer acquisition cost but we'll be able to tap on to only those customers who will be able to give them maximum customer lifetime value. And because of this fundamental understanding of their audience, when you talk to stock market investors, in fact, if you are trading, if there are people who are trading over here, if you talk to them, and I did, they told me that there, are, there were some game-changing features in Zeroda which have now been copied, but back then they were revolutionary. For example, the good till trigger feature, because of which 
it's called GTT because of which a trader is able to save an enormous amount of time and anxiety because they're able to place advanced orders. So, ये fundamental understanding of traders pain जो है once they focused on that and once a trader is able to do things effectively, automatically word of mouth publicity happens. As a result, they get customers at zero CAC. And when I spoke to Nitin, he also told me something very interesting. He says that we act as gatekeepers for our customers. Uh, that is the reason why we charge them an account opening fee and an account maintenance fee. Because of which, if there is a student who is not so serious about trading, he has no incentive to open up an account. In fact, he's going to incur a loss. So they're going to go away. But their competitors, they started giving rewards: five hundred rupees, one thousand rupees, one thousand two hundred rupees. Uski wajah se kya hua? Mere editors ne pandra pandra thousand rupees kamaye referrals ki through. And there are YouTube videos which say, "How do you make a side income <laughs> using X Y Z app?" And what happens because of this is that because the company does not have a fundamental understanding of the customer, they either end up onboarding the wrong customer or they end up giving incentives which cost them, as well as end up onboarding the wrong customer. So user base to dikhaya hai, 10 million, 11 million, 12 million, but us user base ka value kuch nahi hai. So at Think School, what we did is that we focused on delivering our content in English. Number one, this is because of multiple reasons. South India does not have great content to consume, so English served as a very good um, entry product for them, entry instrument for them. Secondly, we when we made business case studies, what we understood is that we have an audience that is 25 plus. 60 to 70 percent of our audience is 25 plus. As a result, when we put a shout out to our sponsors, because our 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 subscribers have a very high purchase power. We are able to command the maximum price in the market, which means what? It's not just important for you to start a YouTube channel, but also to have an understanding of which customer base are you catering to, so that you can build a channel of very high value. Similarly, if you are a brand who is going out to creators, 10 million, 20 million matter करता है क्या? 10 million, 12, 20 million का reach matter करता है क्या? नहीं matter करता है. Matter क्या करता है कि जिन सब्सक्राइबर्स को ये केटर कर रहे हैं उनका प्रोसेस पावर क्या है एज बेसिक एज इट साउंड ब्रांड्स डोंट अंडरस्टैंड दिस सो व्हेन यू गेट आउट इनटू द मार्केट इफ यू ओनली डू दीज बेसिक्स राइट एज अ ब्रांड यू विल बी एबल टू कैच होल्ड ऑफ द मोस्ट रेलेवेंट यूजर्स इफ यू हैव अ फंडामेंटल अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ देम एज अ क्रिएटर यू विल बी एबल टू बिल्ड अ चैनल व्हिच विल बी ऑफ एक्स्ट्रॉर्डिनरीली हाई वैल्यू एंड पीपल स्टार्ट वंडरिंग व्हाई द हेल इज दिस गाय गेटिंग पेड 10 लाख व्हेन आई एम जस्ट गेटिंग पेड 1 लाख इन स्पाइट ऑफ हैविंग अ ह्यूज यूजर बेस बिकॉज़ fundamental understanding bahut kam logo mein and last and most importantly all of this put together will help you build a massive distribution channel with creators or by yourself which will help you stand out in this crowd and when the ecosystem gets more and more noisy these foundations that you've built will just set you apart from the competition that you have if you do this the kind of case studies that iplex media is a company that i very closely work with um they did this marketing campaign for skillshare they achieved a return on ad spend of 220% is that correct 260% is with think school but 220% is with the other creators uh, there is a company called wind wealth that spent 1.5 crore rupees into influencer marketing they they caught hold of 10000 users who eventually went on to invest 130 freaking crores with wind wealth and they're talking about a product bond which has very less customer awareness do you imagine that guys this is the understanding this is the kind of payoff that this understanding will give you and lastly because we made this ppt for surat i remember my protein is another company that they marketed for in a crowded market they were able to give a return on ad spend of 300% right so this is the value of the lessons that you can derive from the creator economy That's all from my side. If you have any questions, please shoot. Thank you so much. Yes. Not a question. I just wanted to tell that I am here because of your video. Acha. So I used the Elon Musk video and edited it and submitted it for my video application. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Vai. Thank you so much. Because I use the Meta business, Meta Meta brand ka video. तुम लोग मास्टर्स यूनियन थिंग्स को वीडियो एडिट करके आए हो क्या बट आई एम वेरी ग्लैड यू नो गाइज मैंने कभी सोचा नहीं था टू बी वेरी ऑनेस्ट दैट द चैनल विल एक्सप्लोर सो मच आई नेवर थॉट आई विल बी वर्थ इनफ टू कम ओवर ह्योर एंड इट्स ओनली बिकॉज ऑफ यू इट्स ओनली बिकॉज ऑफ पीपल लाइक हिम हु एक्चुअली टेक दिस कॉन्टेंट एंड यूज इट फॉर बेटर एप्लीकेशन वी स्टार्ट टू गेट ई मेल्स विच इज वेरी ओवरवेलमिंग टू बी विच सेट दैट यू नो आई यूज थिंग स्कूल जेरोदा के स्टडी 
to have a conversation with the interviewer and they started debating about customer acquisition cost in an IIMA interview in an IIMB interview this guy who made it to IIM Bangalore uh, has made two notebooks full of notes of think school which is very fascinating so if there are people like him like him who have actually applied these case studies you guys are the ones who are the real think school community members it's unfortunate that in this digital world it's very difficult to find you guys but if at all you are here thank you so much you are the ones who make think school valuable yes what is the process of doing creating a case study basically okay so um since the past 2 months 3 4 months we've been expanding 6 mahine pehle to main akele sara research karta tha the process if i were to break it down it's divided into five steps the first step is we look for what india wants to know and even you guys can figure it out it's very easy you go to twitter you see what people are talking about and for our particular niche which is 25 plus business students what would the business students of india want to know so when the russia ukraine war happens they don't want to know why russia and ukraine are fighting they want to know the economic impact of the russia ukraine war on india and um on the world economy so once we find out what does india want to know we look for the second thing which is concept worth addressing so if you look at think school videos as much as they are packaged with the uh, lucrative thumbnails and titles inside that video you will always find a concept worth addressing go first bankrupt hota hai usse humko farak nahi padta humko opportunity milta hai tum logon ko ye sikhane ke liye ki bankruptcy how can it benefit a particular company so this is the second thing that we look for so that every time we speak about something we end up adding value to the people and not just milk views out of it तो इसीलिए आर्यन खान का कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी चल रहा है तो थिंग स्कूल वीडियो नहीं बनाएगा उसके ऊपर ओके द थर्ड थिंग दैट वी डू आफ्टर वी फाइंड द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ द एड्रेसिंग इज वी सिंप्लीफाई एंड स्टोरीफाई द इंटायर कॉन्सेप्ट सो यू विल सी दैट इन आर कॉन्टेंट इवन वी स्पीक अबाउट समथिंग एज सिंपल एज बॉन्ड्स वी विल ऑलवेज से लेट्स ए शुभम इज दिस गाय हू गोज ऑन टू बाय एन अडानी बॉन्ड फॉर वन थाउजेंड रुपीज अ यूनिट सो वेन वी डू दैट फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन द लेटेस्ट वीडियो ऑल्सो एम एस एम ई लोन्स का जो हमने वीडियो बनाया था दैन वी स्पोक अबाउट दिस गाय कॉल रवि हू रन दिस कंपनी कॉल तिरुपुर टेक्सटाइल्स and then if i story fight and i tell you that this is the problem that ravi faces the concept becomes more simplified and the nuances of the concepts are communicated after that is done then we look for the next step which is um empathy experience so we catch hold of an amateur audience and we catch hold of an expert audience and we show the contents to both of them for example if i am making something related to go first bankruptcy which is a finance related topic i would show it to sushant over here because he knows more about finance than uh, any other person that i know and if he says that there is no compromise in the explanation of the concept then we consider this to be worthy enough then we'll show it to another person who's probably a techy or a person who's got nothing to do with finance who is an amateur audience unko agar dikha ke agar humko thumbs up milta hai that we understood everything that has been said then we believe that the content is good to go and that's how the product goes through an iterative process and then it makes it to you guys on youtube there we again look at the comments look for feedback improve again so this is the entire process of a think school case study this is the process right now but when you started how was it same cheez un uh, unknowingly abhi to maine usko articulation mein dal diya hai but had you asked this to me about one and a half years back i won't be able to tell you kya tha process but uh, because now we're building a team and delegation becomes important and for delegation you have to break down all the entities of your projects differently and then delegate right So that's how this process has now been articulated, but has always been used in Think School. Okay, yeah. Hey, uh, so my question is, uh, in the process while you're doing a lot of research, apart from the existing network which you already have, hmm. in the back when we have started, uh, hmm. so what were the sources of primary and secondary? You know, the apart from the structure of uh, the entire video, hmm. the kind of points which you pick is something which uh, not ordinary audience will not find it. Hmm. Actually, ordinary audience will be able to find it. It's just that. you know you will not randomly search for an open credit enablement network document on the internet right so it's just that we put in the time to find these data data points that is the reason why we're able to find it that's all usme koi rocket science nahi hai bro but now like you said because we've got access so we talk to the adanis themselves we talk to we are making a case study on mill basket so we talk to the mill basket guys to unse data point lete hain zeroda ke liye we spoke to nitin and nikhil themselves and understood what is the what was the thinking behind building the business so this has always been the case information is available in in large quantities but when it comes to the process now it's just another value add of talking to industry experts and the stakeholders in the ecosystem and one last question so have you grown the audience in organic or uh, you had to spend some money for in organic growth paise to the hi nahi bhai to organic hi raha hai 
या विल जस्ट आस्क मोर क्वेश्चन ब्रो बहुत सारे लोगों को चांस देते हैं या ब्रो टेल मी तुम अगर पोस्ट करते जाओगे तो कुछ नहीं होगा ओके इट हैज टू बी वैल्यू ओरियंटेड विच इज वेरी ऑब्वियस about the turn around time of the video it was 3 days research writing scripting shooting editing all of it used to take less than 3 days uh that is because i was working for 16 hours a day which is terrible nobody should do that but mera obsession tha ki i want to post two videos a week that is the reason why it was so less but uh, if it were to be like a normal work schedule it should be it would be anywhere between 5 to 6 days it was just too long from videos or week and yeah. no shorts so okay shorts didn't exist in fact yeah. i think uh, two years back i think shorts was not yeah. there and yeah you. yeah uh, so the drilling rate story that always scared it to see you and i also talked about plateauing of the growth mm. so that's in that context i would like to understand what have you envisioned for the next three years of the growth story mm-hmm. because i think you will reach a certain point at this point of time where you will sort of think of starting from here sort of the kind of tempo that you like to say yeah So I would like to understand what is the next three, four years of the Achha, so what is it for things for next three, four years? Okay. So for Think School, we are actually starting a podcast. Uh, attempt to that we want to build a show, and uh, if we come to Delhi, this seems like a pretty good set, by the way, for the show. Where we want to get in entrepreneurs, and मोटिवेशन क्या है आपका स्केड्यूल क्या है आपका पुल शेट वी डोंट वॉन्ट डू दिस वॉन्ट गेट समी लाइक वेल मनी सर एंड आस्क हिम सर वाई डिड यू चूज द पैथोलॉजी सेगमेंट इन दी इंटायर डायग्नोस्टिक्स इंडस्ट्री सो दर इज पैथोलॉजी इन दर इज रेडियोलॉजी वाई डिड यू चूज पैथोलॉजी स्पेसिफिकली इन पैथोलॉजी देर आर फाइव टाइप्स वाई डिड यू चूज बायो केमिस्ट्री स्पेसिफिकली एंड देन वी वॉन्ट आस्क हिम यू नो विथ थारो केयर बैक इन ट्वेंटी सिक्सटीन अगर आप कोई सैंपल दे दो किसी सेंटर में वो शिप होता है नवी मुंबई को सेंट्रल प्रोसेसिंग लैब है उनका यहाँ पे and this entire air cargo fee is 5 rupees per sample 5 rupees they've got 1000 centers to ye kaise how did he manage to crack logistics so this is the first thing that we are looking to build which is a podcast which could give you an immersive experience into the journey of the entrepreneurs along with data so if i do enough research i can get the golden nuggets out of somebody like velumari sir that's the first thing that you're building The second thing that we're doing is that we don't have products to sell and we have a huge distribution. So there are two ways in which we are looking at it. Number one is to build more courses. So all these business cases that I've made, they are just surface level knowledge, and we've done much more, but we're not able to post it because of the time restrictions and the watch time related stuff on YouTube. We want to accumulate all of that and build a real how to start up course, by which. We can actually give you an immersive experience of the entire journey of the entrepreneurs, help you study the market. and then make your business analysis and then keep on using it forever and multiple products like these produced by think school is the first agenda the second agenda is because we have got low customer acquisition cost we could actually get hold of great creators like ansh i think ansh was here yesterday right yeah, yeah. yeah so ansh is extremely valuable his knowledge is extremely valuable but he does not have big distribution so we wanted to build a school by which we could actually catch hold of these great creators help them lower the customer acquisition cost and then build literally a digital school for india which will actually cater to the gaps in the education system if we do this i believe with podcast the distribution will stay relevant and with the products that we have in the catalog we can leverage the distribution eventually to add value to the customers and generate revenue for the company right now we have a constraint of time so i will see you very very soon thank you so much for all your love and support